Hi, my name is Dr. Kem. I'm a trauma and orthopedic surgery doctor, and this is the Learning How to Suture series with the House of Medics. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to perform the vertical mattress suture. This is a simple interrupter suture that we can use to close the skin wounds together. In my role as a trauma and orthopedic surgeon, we use this to ensure the wound edges come together nicely in a way that they don't fall in on, on themselves. And I'll show you what I mean later. So to form this suture, all you require is within the House of Medic suture kit. So you get your needle and needle holder and ensure that it's mounted correctly. So you're aiming to get your needle holder at about two thirds the distance from the tip of the needle and perpendicular to the needle itself. And you use the forceps to manipulate it and fine tune position rather than using your hands to touch the tip of the needle. Right, so with this, um, with this suture technique, it changes slightly from a simple interrupted suture, which I've seen, which you would have seen performed by Dr. Emma. With this, to start off with, you start off to pass your suture as with any other um, suture technique. Your suture will be 90 degrees to the skin and pass through. You then pass it through to the other side using the curve of the needle to advance and then bring it out on the other side. At this point is where the changes occur. So with this suture, you're then going to go back on yourself, advancing creating a suture pass from the side you've come out of and coming out from the original side. The best way to do this is to perform a backhand suture pass. And to do this, where you would no normally mount your needle, so it's perpendicular in this position, you're going to then reverse the needle so it, the point of the needle is facing downwards. And then in this position, you're just reversing. The best way to hold it is probably in your palm. And your entry point is going to be more proximal to the wound edge compared to where you've come out of. And again, you're going to come out perpendicular on the opposite side. Once again, using the curve of the needle to advance it through. Once you pull your needle through, to ensure an adequate length to tie with on the opposite side, you tie off your needle, your thread, in the same way that you've learned before. Instrument tie, two throws over the needle holder, and cross your hands to tighten down. One throw in the opposite direction. And then one more throw in the original direction. And you cut your suture thread long enough so that the nursing staff or the staff that will be able to remove it have no difficulty finding the thread. So do that again.
Suture in at 90 degrees to the skin. Pass it through to the opposite side. Mount your needle and then reverse it so the point is facing downwards to perform a backhand suture pass. Entry point is more proximal to the wound edge or closer to the wound edge. And coming out equal distance on the original side. And then once more, tie off the suture. Two throws. One throw in the opposite direction. And one more back in the original. So that is how you perform the vertical mattress suture. I hope you found that useful and have been able to follow it along with me. To get your own House of Medic suture kit, click on the link in the description below. Like and subscribe to the videos and stay tuned for further tutorials.